Hello and welcome to the video. This is a first look and overview of something new from Speedy Bee. Now, I like Speedy Bee stuff. I've done quite a few videos on things. And in fact, one of the things that is always in my flight case is this thing here. This is the little dongle adapter that you can plug into your flight controller and allows you via this little thing, you power it from your battery and it uh, fires up the flight controller. You can connect to it wirelessly over with your tablet or your phone or whatever and tweak settings and it is incredibly useful uh, works with iNav and Betaflight this is always in my bag uh, for those flight controllers that don't have that kind of functionality installed now this is the latest stuff from Speedy Bee that has that not only Bluetooth but Wi-Fi connectivity as well now this is the Speedy Bee stack uh, I'll put links below if you're interested well, let me take this out and kind of show you what it looks like and talk a little bit about the specs. Now, this is uh, a flight controller and a 4-in-1 ESC. They are available separately, so you can buy them uh, each individual piece. But the design is a very modern flight controller with pads rather than through holes for uh, low profile connection, USB. USB-C even port and all of the little pads on the bottom are beautifully screen printed so it's very very easy to see what's going on. The speed controller is quite a chunky setup here and if we actually look below these two pieces in the other things inside the box along with this uh, you get a flying lead get a nice big cap with the mounting bolts including a spare for the entire stack when it goes together you get the leads to connect everything and you also get the bolts and a couple of the spare vibration isolating mounts so a couple of specs on this while we're having a quick look one of the key features about this is it does allow for wireless firmware flashing black box analyzing and also beta flight uh, emu for configuration this is a really cute idea it means that we can hide these things away like in these kind of models where you tend to find that it's tricky to get to usb ports to actually look at stuff uh, you can just connect to stuff wirelessly if you want to tweak something the esc is a 45 amp bl heli 32 4 in 1 esc Again, as I mentioned, this has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on it, so you can decide which you would use. Uh, Bluetooth is going to be better when you have the phone or tablet very close to the device. The Bluetooth range isn't massive. Uh, Wi-Fi range is a little bit more. But there is the nice cutout as well, uh, designed with 22mm cutouts for FPV camera support. So if you are really tight for space in a really small model, that is all there for you to make sure that you can get a really compact build. In terms of the ESC, this is 45 amp continuous output, a 55 amp burst, 2 to 6S support, a D shot 600 and 1200, and as well as the big capacitor that you get in the box that goes onto this thing, there's also uh, you can probably see them on there's actually 21 filtering capacitors which hopefully should definitely help to keep everything nice and smooth and stop those nasty kind of power spikes that you can get on a power system standard dimensions in terms of mounting this little stack uh, 30.5 millimeter mountings the flight controller itself is 41 by 38 millimeters overall and this thing is 41 millimeters wide by 45.6 millimeters long so it's not the smallest stack in the world but just looking at this thing and looking how it's put together you can just see how nicely it's been done sometimes you get flight controllers in and they feel like they're made on the cheap uh, this definitely doesn't and that carries on when you look at the specs of the flight controller in particular uh, BMP to AT barometer MPU 6000 IMU, uh, which I've seen a lots of different things. However, there is the little Wi-Fi Bluetooth chip on here as well. 16 meg on board, so although it doesn't have an SD card on it, it doesn't matter if you want to save your black box logs, if you want to do something with Dashware, or just fine tune how the model is flying. Again, Type-C connector 
for your computer. We'll plug it in in a moment. We'll have a quick look at what uh, the setup is on it out the box. OSD is an A27456E and it's a 5 volt 2 amp and a 9 volt 2 amp BEC on here as well. So this is beautiful for a 4-in-1 quad. I would love to see them create boards that uh, go along with the flight controller designed for things like fixed wing as well. Now normally to show you how everything's set up on one of these flight controllers I'd plug it into Betaflight and you can of course do that via the USB adapter. However that's kind of missing the point of something like Speedy B because in addition to everything else on this flight controller as I've already said we've got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So with the Speedy B app on your phone or tablet you can connect to it and you can access the settings to change how everything works. Now this on its own isn't particularly new. It was on the original version of this F7 and it's been on other Speedy B products as well, including that adapter that I showed at the beginning. What is new this time is that this flight controller will allow you to flash the firmware onto it wirelessly and also access and analyze the black box logs. So if you're particularly interested in doing as much as you possibly can without having to dig out a USB cable and stick it in the side of the flight controller, this is actually a really cute way of doing it. The SpeedyB interface is very intuitive and if you know your way around the standard Betaflight or iNav configurators, you'll very quickly be able to find what you need. I have been impressed in the past with the stuff that Speedy B has done. They're a sister company to people like Runcam, and I like Runcam too. Things like this, these ideas of being able to do stuff wirelessly is really smart. The only downside with this is that unfortunately the cable is the wrong connector to fit into a modern flight controller using this USB style. However, you don't need to worry about that because this has the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth stuff built in, so using the Speedy B back app on your phone, uh, you can just connect to it and tweak everything. I love the fact that there are a lot of UARTs on this and I love the build quality and the way it is shipped. This doesn't feel like something that was built on a Friday afternoon in the factory. This looks like they've actually taken a little bit of time and effort. Now I do need a build to put it in to put it through its actual paces, but initial impressions of this F7 based flight controller and this 45 amp 4-in-1 ESC stack are very good. Again, links down below if you're interested in having another look. Uh, stay tuned, I'm sure this will appear in a build in the coming months. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media and if you're trying to learn about a subject then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organised into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.